Welcome to news making headlines on February 7th. Border clashes have continued from last night to Monday morning and it looks like the situation has reached the point of no return as army spokesman said this morning no more talk with Cambodia but there may be hope that this will not turn into a border war. Matichon's main headline shouts ceasefire fails third round attack infringes upon Thai soil. Puchet Khan says clashes boil at Priya here. Cambodia cites MOU for their legitimacy to fight against Thailand for Thai accepts 1 to 200,000 map opening loopholes to claim sovereignty. A Puchet Khan picture shows a foreign agency picture taken from Cambodian press as evidence that Cambodian soldiers use Priyavi here as their base, firing heavy weapons into Thai territory. AFP quoted the Cambodian government as having said the third round of border clashes has damaged the Priyavi here temple. Komchatluk covers a sensational picture of a Thai woman crying after her home was destroyed in a fire caused by the clashes yesterday. The opposite government is facing not only border trouble, but also internal pressure from the PAD. Kom Chat Luk says, February 11th, D-Day, PAD will rally at strategic locations to pressure Apisit. Thairat ran a picture of a man who shouted in Apisit's face, telling him to step down. The paper said Apisit who came to chair a mini marathon at the 11th Infantry Division felt bad as his face dropped. The following news will serve as a warning for any family that has young kids and live in high-rise condominium to take extreme caution. Thairat says, Sad, four-year-old girl frowns from condo. Father left her to sleep alone in the room. The girl gets up to search for dad, falls from 12th floor, neck broken. Thai Post Excise says, The father is a teacher of an international school. He came downstairs to buy food while the accident occurred. Doesn't this remind you of a tragedy involving Eric Clapton's son, who was also four years old and fell out the window from their apartment? And Eric Clapton wrote the beautiful song Tears in Heaven as a tribute to his son. Well, if you have problems, who do you go to? In the old days, Thais may go to temples and talk to monks whom they revere to get solutions to their problem. In the digital age, people can get consolation right in their own home by switching to fortune teller programs. Matichon says, fortune teller programs become highly popular on cable TV stations. Thais bogged down by problems and have no one to turn to. Thais are unhappy and want help and apparently Fortune tellers can help comfort them at certain level and that is why this type of program will, is expected to witness more than 100% growth rate this year. Let's peek into the world of celebrities. Pujat Gan's Super Bantern column says, Single Mod 3G accepts seeing Duong Chalom for two months, admiring him, saying the man is nice. If you remember, we are talking about a controversial son of politician Chalom Yu Bamrung. You often heard news of Duong Chalom some years ago engaging in pub brawls. So after only two months of a romantic relationship with him, Mot Kalaya Jirachai Sakdecha, ex-singer of 3G band, has totally dismissed the fierce image of Duong Chalom, saying the man is actually shy and has really a sweet nature. That's it folks, have a nice day.